All right, everyone, welcome back to another section. And let's just get started with Webpack configuration. So what happens with Webpack is that although it allows you to run in zero configuration mode, just like we saw, it's usually not desired because you lack a lot of features which you can get by using a configuration file. So what we need to do is just create a new file called webpack.config.js. Now, the deal with this file is whatever object you export from this file, this is actually the configuration Webpack uses. So how does Webpack know it has to use this configuration? You see, this file has a very special name called webpack.config.js. Inside package.json, when you run this script, Webpack is going to look for a file called the same in the same directory, right? Now, obviously, if you want, you can give it a custom name by just changing its name to like, you know, my webpack.js, something like that. And right here, writing config my webpack.js, right? It doesn't matter. But, well, why not just keep it default because it gives us a nice little icon here as well in VS Code. So I'm going to keep it that way. So this was a quick little intro on Webpack config, how it works, how Webpack picks it up. And for the further tutorials, we're going to see how we can actually work with it. So see you then.